How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here and in today's video I just want to talk about the final release of the factory images for the Nexus devices. So we now have Android 5.0 which is about time. It's about two weeks late but Google did finally release some. You can see there's actually a couple here for the N9 or the Nexus 9 different things, the Nexus 5, 7 and, and so on including the older Nexus 7 um, from 2012 also gets 5.0 lollipop android 5.0 so very exciting what i'm going to do today is i'm going to talk to you and give you guys some information on how to install this this is going to be for kind of advanced users but we're going to talk about it so we're going to go ahead and download the firmware which i've actually already done and let me just go ahead and show you so this is the firmware for the nexus the nexus 7 2014 and um, I'm just going to show you how to basically turn the firmware into an update is what we're going to kind of talk about today. And this will work with any Nexus device. So if you're on the previous build but you haven't got an OTA update yet, this is how to take the firmware and kind of turn it into an update so you can flash your device without losing your data. So to do that, you got to extract it. Here's a T TGZ and then you extract it to a TAR. And if you extract it again, you'll have a folder. So we'll open the folder up and you guys are going to be left with this. Normally you just need your fastboot exe and you click the flash all bat and boom you're done. You put your device in bootloader mode, click flash all bat and you've restored your device. It's pretty simple. That's the normal way you do it but if you just want to kind of turn these files into an update that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So to do that um, we're going to do a couple things. First of all we're going to create a new text document right there and we're going to call this update just so we got it all clear easy to understand um, then we need to take and we need to put your fastboot exe file in here at least that's the way I like to do it so I'm going to copy mine from the Android SDK copy and paste alright so it's in here now we need to find out normally the, the bat file right here does some different things but we want to do specifically something different so we're going to take the images and we're going to go ahead and extract them all into this same folder and it is extracting them so while it does that we're going to go ahead and set up our update text and we're going to compare it with another text which is the flash all bat so we're going to hit edit on here and we're going to copy some code. So first thing we're going to copy is fastboot flash bootloader image and copy. And we're going to put it into this file. Paste. You can actually go and put it in the top. Now this is like Notepad++. This is what I like to use for my text editing. It does work real good. And then we'll we'll keep going here. Uh, I rearranged it all. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and look at the other file. See if I can pull it here, guys. Well, this finished, so I can close it out. And we've got this one. So the next command is fastboot, reboot, bootloader, and it gives this long command, which is like this pause thing, I guess. And then it pings the bootloader. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that. And we'll put that into our update text paste there we go it's interesting that it came up with two lines here but it did so that's fine and then from here we just want to flash our system and our boot so to do that we're just gonna I'm just gonna manually type these commands and the rest of this has to do with flashing the update and we're not gonna do that so you can close this file out and then we're going to go into here and we're going to just flat, uh, type in the rest of the commands. So fast boot flash boot and then boot dot i i m g. Next is fast boot flash system space system dot i m g. All right, so if you do this correctly, if everything is functional here, what's going to happen is you're going to 
flash the bootloader to the newest bootloader you need for this update. You're going to reboot the bootloader, and then it's going to ping the bootloader. And then once it does that, once it proves that it sees it again, um, it's going to flash the boot image, and it's going to flash the system image. So this does basically keep you from wiping cache. It doesn't wipe your user data, and it doesn't wipe your recovery. Now, when it first boots up, it might auto wipe out the recovery. You may have to flash Torp Recovery if you have that installed again. Um, but otherwise, it's not doing it in this process. So from here, we're just going to hit Save, close the text, and then we're going to come in here and we're going to say Rename. We're going to name it Update.bat. Hit Save, and boom, that's it. All you got to do now is put your device in download mode and go ahead and hit the update bat file or not download one I'm sorry bootloader mode hit the update batch file right there and you'll update your device and you'll keep all your data that's gonna be it that's how to do a quick update turning a stock firmware for a Nexus device basically into an update and uh, get your device up and running on new Android 5.0 official firmware hope you guys like this video stay tuned for more like this covering lots of Nexus stuff tons of cool things like I said, this is kind of for advanced users, so if you don't understand the rest of the steps, well, it's over your head, move on. But if you're a little more advanced and you can follow along with this, this is how you do it. I'll go ahead and copy this code for the Nexus 7, the new one, second gen, into the video description. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie, out.